this is an example of a chord. It is the A sus2. I thought uh, Mateus would enjoy this one specifically. <laughs> Uh, so let's get started with a little bit of piano physics that I learned while I was researching. So, uh, first you have the hammer and the click uh, You have the soundboard and you have the strings, which are made out of a high carbon steel. So this is an example of what a hammer would look like in a piano. This is what the soundboard would look like. And these are the strings. So you can actually just play piano with pretty much these three things. All of the rest are just to help with the sound and to help with the uh, noise and the volume of the instrument itself. But these are the three main parts. So for making music, uh, the first thing that I needed was an audio, audio editing software and audio recording software. So I used Mixcraft 8 Home Studio. Uh, this is an example of what the user interface looks like, and this is actually what I used. This was a screenshot that I took of my recording when I recorded my music. Uh, but not only do you need uh, audio editing software, you also need like music. You need notes, you need chords and different uh, things to play. So you have... The four main notes that I use with my left hand were C, next, B flat, next, A flat, and then finally G. So you just play these four notes.
you can actually use different instruments for the piano. So I started off with just an acoustic piano, as you might have heard, and then I also added in a jazz guitar as like the underline and as just for some like little solo bits. And then I used a uh, snare drum for the beginning along with a hi-hat. And then uh, after that I found another little drum pre-recording that was kind of just like a whole kit and it just had a very nice feel to it and that I feel fit with the song. So making jazz is actually really easy and it's not complicated at all. All you need is a few notes and a little bit of confidence. Uh, a few of the great jazz musicians such as Louis Armstrong, uh, John Coltrane, and Miles Davis. Uh, these are all huge names in the jazz industry and you can be just like them if you just put in a little bit of effort. Thank you. Uh, so